Hey, hey, how's it going everybody? Thanks for stopping by my channel today. We're talking about this right here, lemons. Today is all about lemons. I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my favorite lemon-based fragrances. And this is not going to be like my other um, fragrance note videos. Like I did a grapefruit top 10, like best grapefruit. I don't want to do that anymore. I just want to make fragrance suggestions because it is kind of hard to rank these. And these are just some lemon-based fragrances from my collection that I think are really nice. And if you love the really super sour, tart, tangy lemons, then you should really check out these ones, guys. These are some amazing lemon-based fragrances, in my opinion, that I think you should really definitely try out if you are a fan of lemons. So uh, there are very few fragrances that are just purely lemon. If you want to smell just like lemons, take some of this lemon juice right here, pop the cap, spray it on, boom, there you go. But the great thing about these lemon fragrances is, yes, they use the note of lemon, but they're not dominated by lemon. They have lemony nuances in there, and maybe the main note will be lemon, but it's not purely lemon. It's combined with other things. I'm kind of be touching on that, so I have some to show you, and let's kick off this list. So to me, lemons, yeah, they're very uh, sour, very tart, and I love lemonade. That's pretty much one of my favorite drinks. Lemons are always really refreshing to me, and I love lemony scents in the summertime because they are very refreshing. It's a very bright, uplifting, sharp citrus scent. Uh, I think it's really hard to replicate in fragrances, but these ones do it very well and they really just put me in a summery, really bright and uplifting, joyful mood. So I'm going to take care of the elephant in the room first, so to speak. This is Aqua Di Gio. Of course, Aqua Di Gio, one of the most popular men's fragrances to, of all time. And yes, this is a very nice lemony scent in my opinion. I've always felt that this has had a very nice lemony vibe to it. I get usually cedar lemon and an aquatic vibe, but it's all very soft, but you get bright at the same time. And of course, everybody, you have to have this when you're in your collection. I mean, this is a classic fragrance, and I think it uses lemon and an aquatic note very, very well, in my opinion. Very bright and very energetic, but yet, at the same time, laid back and casual. So I think it's a great lemon-based scent. All right, next one, we have one from the house of Issei Miyake. Yep, Lo de Issei or Om. This one combines yuzu, which is that Japanese sort of hybrid citrus, with lemon. So I get a lot of lemon, a lot of floral notes, and a lot of this really bright citrus and yuzu. Man, that thing, whew, this is super, super bright and energetic. And yeah, check my review on this one, but man, this one is a super sharp, super sharp scent. That uh, if you want, if you really like lemon, and if you want something for the high heat, I definitely suggest to you this one. This one will do you just fine. It has some kind of a little bit of a woody, dirty kind of undertone to it, if you will. But really, mainly, I get yuzu and lemon and floral notes. So, Issei Miyake Lodi Issei is a great lemon based scent to check out. Next is from the house of Kristen Dior. This is Dior Own Sport 2012 version. Oh, ho, 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 yeah. Here we go. This one is one of the best lemon scents, in my opinion, because Wow, it just has that citron note, the note of citron, which is sort of like a lemon, again, kind of like a lemon hybrid um, thing. I don't really know too much about it, but yes, when I spray this on, I get a lot of lemon and ginger to open it up. It's very fizzy, very bright, and has a very nice, smooth, sexy, powdery iris note in there with that green, woody, masculine base. This is one of the best lemon scents ever, guys. It just kind of has this kind of a sweet, lemony, powdery vibe to it. Really, really nice. Great for the summertime, and I love wearing this formally dressed up, and I think it's very nice, classy, classy lemon scent. So go check out Dior on Sport if you're looking for a classy lemon scent. Next from the house, Atelier Cologne. This is Cedrat en Revant. And I really wish that Atelier, you know, they make the hyper-realistic citruses. I have a feeling, I have a feeling that the next um, collection of original fragrances they're going to make is going to be like... Um, like lemon absolute or something like that because that's an excellent line. You know, they've done grapefruit, they've done bergamot, they've done um, oranges, and next I think is probably lemon. But for right now, this one will will definitely do. So Cedra en Rivant, this is pretty much like a mojito in a bottle. You get lemon, lime, and mint, the slight little herbal undertone. Those are the main things I get, but I get a very nice lemony, limey thing. Almost reminds me of Sprite a little bit. It has a fizziness to it, yet it has this calming herbal quality. It has the mintiness, which is refreshing. This is a great Again, high class kind of citrusy scent. This definitely is very well balanced, which I do like. So if you're looking for a lemon scent mixed with like lime and mint, like a mojito, check this one out. All right, next I have two. Both from the house of Versace. We have Versace Orom and Versace Mano Fresh. Now both of these ones right here 
have lemon mixed with other notes. Let's start off with Mano Fresh. This one has lemon, yes, mixed with star fruit. So it has a fruity, lemony, aquatic type thing. This thing, I don't know, has this really nice beachy type uh, feel to it and it has this quality of like cooling you down. I don't know. This thing does absolutely outstanding in the high heat, but mainly it's lemon, bergamot, and star fruit. Very uplifting, almost get like a tropical vibe from it. Kind of fruity, but um, really nice, really nice lemon scent. And Versace Pour Homme, I get lemon, and this one has like a touch of rose and tonka bean, so it's a very nice, sh um, sharp but smooth citrus scent. So yeah, both of these are, I get a very just lemony, bright citrus vibe from them, and I think they're both wonderful options. Great for high heat. Go check these ones out. You're good with either one. All right, next we have one from the house of Hermes. This is Voyage de Hermes. I think this is the Eau de Parfum. I'm not completely sure. I forget. But yeah, this is a lemony scent, definitely a lemony scent, with a nice woody, musky undertone. Pretty simple, it, but it is simple but effective. It smells Wow, it smells really nice. It has this really tart lemon note in there, but it has this really nice kind of heavy, musky, masculine undertone to it with definitely a prominent woodsiness. So if you want a nice masculine um, lemon scent, I would definitely check this one out. And if you like scents with a good amount of musk and woodsiness to them, this is definitely a great lemon woods combination right here. All right, two left. This first one is the lemon meringue pie of the fragrance world. Of course, Chanel Allure Homme Edition Blanche. Yep, um, yeah, this one's just like a tart, decadent lemon meringue pie. It's the best way I can sum it up. If you ever had a really good lemon meringue pie with the whipped cream or whatever, and it's just, yeah, creamy, slightly vanilla, slightly sweet, but it has the airy quality of like a nice, light, decadent pie. And of course, it has that really nice, authentic, tart, lemon note, not too sweet, not too sour, perfectly ripe in the middle, very well balanced. And yeah, this is a great lemon gourmand, so if you want a fragrance that smells like a lemon meringue pie, go for this one right here. And last but not least, this one does not explicitly feature a note of lemon. However, this one to me just smells like an icy glass of lemonade on a boiling hot summer day. Simply the epitome of refreshing fragrances. This is Dior Homme but yeah, it says the three notes, what it has like the musk, but like the white musk, it has bergamot and uh, grapefruit blossom, and all those combined <sighs> smell like icy cold glass of lemonade on a hot day. So it definitely gets this cooling quality, this has a very icy frozen quality to it somehow. Super refreshing, it does smell like fresh cut lemons, very very natural, it's Dior, it's high quality, and it just, at the end of the day it smells like glass of lemonade with some ice on it, you're sitting outside on your back deck on a nice summer day, you're drinking some, some ice cold lemonade, this is really what that smells like, this is lemonade or frozen Italian lemon ice in a bottle, um, it's wonderful stuff, and I absolutely love it for the summertime, and it's just love how natural it is, so this is pretty much one of my favorite lemon based or lemony type scents I have in my collection. So thanks for watching guys, uh, let me know what your favorite lemon scents are, there are so many of them out there. Let me know which ones you guys will be rocking and which ones you guys really love. So as always, thanks for tuning in. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later with another video.